read my uh, book reviews of 2023 so far, right? And you have all heard how much I've hated the books I've read so far in 2023, right? From the way that they make it seem so stupid that it has nothing to do with the plot, from the way it uses words that require me to read the dictionary before I can even understand my story. Well, what did this author do and why the hell did I fall in love with this book? <sighs> I'm not even kidding, this author took everything I hate and turned it into something I loved and it is an absolute beautiful story that I don't even know how to begin to describe the feelings of me falling in love with a story I didn't expect to love. Okay, how to how not to fall in love. It is a story that follows a 17 year old during her school holidays as she works in the bridal shop her mum owns and she tries to work her way around boys, her friends and everything in between. And oh my god. Okay, so at first, um, she is a uh, Harper, which is the 17 year old we follow, is said to uh, make a playful bet with her friend, her best male friend that she's known since she's a little girl. And well, she teaches him how not to fall in love so quickly. Well, he tries to convince her that. Well, he tries to convince her that she needs to learn to fall in love. Well, 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 well. So what does she do? She asks out this cute little gym boy. You know, he's he's a gym junkie with the heart of an artist. Oh my god, he's so adorable. <laughs> and she quickly falls in love with him. What she doesn't realize is that her best, ma her best friend, sorry, struggles with love and the reason he struggles with love is because there is one woman in his life that he knows he can't have and oh my god it is so adorable okay even though i just made it seem completely and utterly boy crazy it really isn't okay yes harper is torn between two men well not men but boys her age see boys her age readers Hmm, very rare that a 17-year-old dates another 17-year-old in stories nowadays, right? But the fact that she has other things outside of her world. She's fussing about her mum. She's fussing about her mum's business. She's fussing about her best mate. She's fussing about her female friends. She's fussing about the lack of social life she has. The story doesn't really centralize around these two boys, even though it sort of does. Now... As I've already admitted, I don't like stories that are big dictionary stories. Anything that requires me to pull out a dictionary and go, like search a word, I instantly throw in the bin. But this story does it in a way that is like, okay, that makes sense. Harper is studying for her school test, uh, SATs, which I'm not sure if Australia has, but she is forced to learn all these big fancy words. And just like the reader, she is confused, which makes it so much easier for me to understand the flow of the story when the reader is just as confused as me. I'm maybe 28 years old, but I felt like I could relate to this queen right here. You know why? So she works in a bridal shop. Her mom owns the bridal shop, okay? And it is so utterly adorable, it's not even funny. She talks about the bridezillas. She talks about the, the way that people learn to fall in and out of love thanks to wedding shopping. <sighs> if I get hit by Cupid, I'm ready to clip his wings. Which is why I loved Harper so much. <laughs> because I'm, I'm very skeptical when it comes to love, and Harper is too, but at least with Harper's reason, she has a reason of being like, well, she got hurt in the past. My reason is because, like, I just don't believe in love. But, like... I got so giddy, and I got so school crushy, oh my god, my cheeks blushed, you should have heard the, the sounds that came out of my mouth on public transport, because I was like, oh my god, he's so cute, I want to be new. Yeah, people looked at me on the train like I was the weirdo. Okay, guys. Ugh, it is so utterly adorable, it's not even funny. It does stuff like, it doesn't make anything seem obnoxious. When you read a story, you're like, oh my god, it's so sickening, gross. But it, it's not, 
it even makes the unobvious obvious. Like, it's about a f two friends who learn to realize that they've always been interested in each other, except it takes a long time for them to realize. <sighs> It, it makes it clear, um, you know, balancing the act between love and anti-love. It learns to accept the breakups and it learns to admit that sometimes love is really truly scary and it doesn't matter if you're 17 or 28 or getting to the age where you're just giving up on counting your birthdays because it kind of, it, it's just so cute. It's a young adult story. It is romance. There is some mild spice and I say mild purely because like it doesn't delve into the fact that it's 17 year olds getting hot and heavy but there is some scenes where you're like they're 17 and I'm reading a scene where he's talking about his hands going up her boobs and her hands going down his pants that's making me a little uncomfortable but it does it in a way that it's, it's tasteful and it makes sense to the story but oh my god reading this story and finishing this story, I want to go find the rest of these author's books. It is so adorable. I highly recommend it. If you haven't found How Not to Fall in Love and you haven't read it yet, give it a go. You will love it just as much as I did. And this is the first book of 2023 where I have fallen in love with a book. And I'm really happy because I did the complete opposite of what this book told me not to do. <laughs> yeah, I probably explained the book really badly, but I'm just really excited to find a book that I actually loved this year. So, yeah!